Okay, hello and welcome back. So last we left off, we uh, just arrived at the very entrance of Mount Moon, healed up, explored in the grass a little bit, and uh, I have some news. So uh, I did a little bit of digging in the wild encounters around the first few routes, and I discovered that there were some cool Pokemon in earlier areas that were also an option. One of these was a Hound Hour that you can catch in uh, Radiant City's uh, grass area. So I figured Hound Hour would be an excellent counter for Blue's starter with its dark fire typing. And dark types are actually pretty hard to come by in this game anyway. There aren't that many, especially not this early. So I think he'll be an excellent uh, addition to the team. His name is Hades. He has flash fire as its ability, which is also good. It gives immunity to fire type attacks, which will be useful against Blaine later on. And his moveset is pretty lackluster right now. He, his uh, main attacking move is Ember. Uh, and it actually does pretty well with damage, even though it's just the first fire type move. Um, the cave, Mount Moon does have a TM that will pick up that should help Hades. So we'll be looking out for that. And then, as you might have seen, uh, oops, wrong button. As you might have glimpsed, Shelter is no longer on the team. And I have to uh, retract a statement I made uh, earlier about not using gift Pokemon and starters. Because the thing is, after, after experiencing Brock and Blue, this game is really no joke and we need all the help we can get. And Swampert is an excellent Pokemon. It has really good typing and it has a really good move pool. So it would be foolish to not take advantage of this if it's given to us. And with that, uh, Mudkip is replacing Shelter's water type slot. It's actually not too bad. It's got a neutral nature, which is nothing bad. And its move pool is already better than Shelter's in some regard. Water Gun is more powerful than Bubble. Mud Slap is a good ground type attack. And uh, Marsh Tomp learns Mud Shot fairly early, so it'll give us a reliable ground attack type move against uh, Lieutenant Surge. So, I am happy with this choice. Duracell remains because he's our starter and I'm pretty sure I want to keep Duracell through the entire run. At least there'll be one stable member of the team. And then Capri Sun stuck around for a little while longer. Uh, she is going to help uh, complete our Firewater Core, uh, Firewater Grass Core for now. Although, Electric in some regard is a good substitute for Grass, so uh, she might not stick around for much longer. And uh, yes, unfortunately this does mean that our king, Leonidas, has decided to, uh, well he didn't decide, I decided, sorry, I didn't, I'm not going to put words in his mouth. Uh, <laughs> uh, king Leonidas has been uh, retired to the box for now. He's still there, don't worry, he can come back later. As I said, this is a rotating team. Uh, for now, I want to go with these, roll with these, these guys and see how we do. Sorry, not just guys, girls, because Capri Sun is currently our uh, only female member. But, this is our new crew, and without further ado, let's go explore Mount Moon. And there is a Pokemon that I know about that is in Mount Moon that I hope to catch. If we encounter it during the game play, that will be good. If not, I will come back later to grab it. We are not interested in Jada level 15 wild Pokemon. Hmm. Maybe I should have uh, trained up the team a little more. Bullet Seed. Not a bad TM. No point in teaching Caprice on that. Caprice on those Mega Drain, which is a better grass type move for us. More Geodudes. Not much of a change versus the uh, base game in that regard. You, you bet we're gonna see a lot of Zubats too. <laughs> so, here we go. Buck Catcher. Suspicious Menor in the cave. No. Couldn't be Team Rocket, could it? The catcher Kent has a Weedle. It's an excellent opportunity for me to introduce Hades, who uh, really is only just sporting Ember, so it's not very exciting. 
but it's a nice clean one hit kill. That's a good boy. And a B drill. We will stay in with Hades. Now, if the B drill is a bug type move, that's going to be neutral because the uh, dark type will negate the resistance of the fire type. Ooh, we get a burn. Nice. Nope, it's going to go for Fury Attack. Ah, it's a critical hit. But only hit twice, which is good. And one more Ember should finish off the B drill. Thank you, Kent. Alright, what's up here? Paralyze Heal. Always useful. What's down here? Nothing. More Weld Encounters. Geodude. Let's go to the right. More Geodudes. So far, variety is not a thing. But that's okay. I think in the base game she started with Fairy. Let's see if she kept it. She's a Cleffa now. Still thematically appropriate. We will continue using Hades. Strike with Ember. And uh, get put to sleep. Cool. Uh, let's see if we can wake up. Oh, of course, not gonna work. Ow. Actually, hit pretty hard. Encore will still fail because you're not letting me attack. Are we really gonna be asleep for the full five turns? Thankfully, the club is wasting time, so that's good. Charm is not a problem for us because um, Fire Engine 3 is always special. Now, if I were to have used Smog, that would have been a problem because Poison is physical. Clefairy, I think we stay in. Actually, no. Let's 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 give let's give Mudkins a little bit of action too. All right, Mr. Mudkins, you will use Water Gun for not a lot of damage. Hmm. Okay. I think we'll have Dursa help out here. Static? No. Maybe now? No. Oops, I uh, switched up the order of the move, so I'm gonna be fumbling a little bit until I get acclimated to the new positions. Alright. That is Last Iris defeated. Okay. I should have brought bot repels. It's too late now. Alright, let's take a look at this basement level. Ooh, look who we have here. Team Rocket. They are Pokemon gangsters. And they strike fear with their strength. Tatus. No, I'm sorry. I was wrong. That's Sanctuary's. Well, uh, Hades has no business staying in on a Sanctuary. We'll switch to Mudkins. Should be able to handle ground type attacks. Doesn't matter because the Sanctuary went for Scratch anyway. The known as Water Gun. Should attack it back. Ah, uh, then we go for an accuracy lower move. That's great. Well, oh, we hit. Cool. Down goes the sand shrew. Puchiana. 
Hmm. We can switch. Back to Hades, I think. Yeah, we should be okay. You have a terrifying puppy? I bring a terrifying puppy. But mine's cooler, because it breathes fire. Yours just throws sand, which is rude. Still hits though. Goodbye, Puchina. That is a cool thematic addition to Team Rocket's roster. Puchina would totally work for them. Zubat. Uh, we got sand attacks, so let's switch to Mudkins. Use water gun because mud slap would be not good. Each life does nothing, but it heals it quite a bit, which is interesting. Too bad it's so hard to raise early on until it gets wing attack or even bite. That is the end for this battle. Bide. Nah, we'll pass on Bide. Okay! Let's press on. And there's an item. Star piece. Ooh, we're rich. That is good. There is our very first Wild Zubat encounter. And believe me, there'll be many more. Okay, we're done with this, ba with this uh, basement segment here. Bagon. That is actually what I was looking for. Yes. Let's try to catch it. What would be the best way? I think we'll try to weaken it with. We might be able to score. If we score burn, uh, we might uh, ruin our chances of being able to catch it. So I think using Mud Slap on it with, uh, with Mud Kip might be the best way to go. Oh man, it's like a truck. I love it. And it's. And it knocked out my Mud Kip. You must be mine, Dagon. Um, let's try a quick attack first, see how much damage we can do. You know, we might be better off just trying to throw Pokeballs before it knocks out the entire team, honestly. There's rage. Yes! We got the paralysis. Good, that's what I wanted. Uh, let's do one more quick attack and then we'll try throwing Pokeballs. have a worse catch rate than most things that we're used to. I might try one more quick attack to get in the red. If uh, this doesn't work, yeah, I think we should. And if we knock it out, at least we, we know where... I think... I think we'll use a potion here. Okay, um, I needed to get paralyzed, honestly. That's what I needed to do. Uh, let's try one more potion. Nope, <laughs> not happening. Oh man, okay, you know what? We're gonna try quick attack. Don't crit, good. It's paralyzed! All right, now's our chance. Too, because it would have killed the rest of the team. 
All right, we have a big on. And I already had a nickname ready for you. You are going to be called JetBlue. JetBlue the big on. Damn, she really almost wiped the team. Okay. Gentle nature. I think that's one of the mo one of the natures that's like it's a swap between defense stats, I think, which is which is fine. I'm not really uh, adamant about getting the exact right nature. I mean, I think Hades is lax, so it's like it's fine as long as it's not a minus attack nature, we should be okay. But uh, before we proceed, oops, wrong way. Before we proceed, we are definitely going to heal. Because we got pretty beaten up by this big on here. Well, that went faster than I anticipated. I thought I would have to search around for big on much longer. But that means we can just continue clearing the cape. You know, might... <laughs> Honestly, I might run back to Pewter City to buy some repels, because this is going to be irritating. This might be a longer episode, but that's fine. Alright. Yes, please heal us. Okay, Capri Sun, you are being retired for now. We might see you for guest appearance later on. Thank you for your service. And we have our fourth team member for now. And I'm fairly certain that Bagon will be with us through through the run because a Salamence is uh, no joke. Alright, so what I want to do is sell the star piece, and I saw pearl there, there too. So we sell this for much, much cash, and we'll sell the pearl as well. Suddenly we're rich, so that's cool. We don't need more Pokeballs right now. Although I do, I will start catching wild Pokemon more too because I remembered that the aids uh, from Professor Oak give out items that we definitely want. Uh, so um, yeah, we might still be catching some stuff along the way, but we'll buy ten repels. How much the star pieces cost? But that's fine. Um, and actually, now that we're here, you know what, let's just buy three and get back up to ten. Because yeah, we need, I think. 50 at least to get all the items. One of them is the, is the XP share, I think, still, which we definitely want. Uh, the Flash T HM is also useful. And I don't remember what the other ones are, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely shoot for those. In the old game, item, the item finder was one of them, was the third reward, but I don't remember what it is in, in uh, the remake. Okay. Oh, and let's check out the moveset. I think we know the full moveset of JetBlue. She's got... Yeah. This headbutt hit like a truck. I love it. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna clean house. I look forward to it. Okay. Well, um, Hades is still staying in front. Oh, we're gonna use our repel. Unfortunately, Hades is still relatively low level compared to even the wild encounters, so some wild Pokemon might still break th through the repel. We'll see. But Catcher Robbie has Caterpie, which is about to get fried. Metapod? I sense a trend. 
Any bets on encountering a Butterfree? Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the dark type. Good puppy. Well done. Alright, what's this here? Rare candy. We'll hold on to that until it's uh, grind time for the league. Super Nerd Joven, I think. Joven? Magnemite. Excellent. Hades likes that. Hades is level 16. Volt Orb. We will switch to Hutkins. I'm just realizing, Hotkip isn't ground type yet, is it? Nope. Whoops. Oops, not what I meant to do. <laughs> um, let's switch to Duracell. <laughs> My bad. It's not until, not until it evolves. Okay. No, at this point, Voltorb can carry uh, Spark, I think, so uh, we, we do not want that. Dodge that bullet. Oops. Man. Trigger happy fingers. Okay. Mudkins comes to the front, and I believe Mudkip evolves at level 16, so... Mm, see? Ooh, Paris. Paris is a cool Pokemon, but... Uh, one potion. Good. Potions are always nice. There we go. Repel War off. Let's uh, do some more. What's this? Escape Rope. Not useful yet, because if we use it, we'll end up right at the beginning, which would not be ideal. Who are you? Was he always there? I just never talked to him? Hmm. Interesting, nonetheless. Hello. Oh, I think you have grass types. I think you have grass types. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Uh... Hades? Help, please? Ooh, that, that was a good dodge there. Because I don't think I have antidotes on me. I don't want to run back all the way to Pure City for it. Well, I might have one antidote, I think, from the Meridian Forest. Still, I'd rather not use that. Uh, we will stay in. Hades is my best answer for these grass types. Oh, we're using November pretty quickly here. Moving along, C dot. Oh, that's cool. Never got to see what it has, but low tad. Um, I think it's water grass already, so we will switch to Duracell and to go for a neutral thunder shock. Nature power, shadow ball. <laughs> Why? Oh. Well, at least it didn't do a lot. I was afraid that it would inflict significant damage. Oh, serious. Alright, quick attack to finish it off. Huh. 
And that is last Miriam defeated. Miriam? I think it's Miriam. Who broke past the repel? It's a Geodude. Should we catch one? If this water gun doesn't kill, we'll try to catch it. Well, we won't try to catch it. <laughs> My bad. Okay, before we uh, talk to that youngster there, let's check out what's down here. Deep in the depths. Hey, look, more Team Rocket. And a Pokeball. If I try to go for it, will I trigger the battle? Of course I will. I'm pulling a big job here. <sighs> We're just uh, out of luck here. Let's have JetBlue try this out. Our newfound friend, JetBlue. Oh no. such a low chance too. You can only poison me once. We'll give we'll give her the antidote after the battle. Alright, Munkins is level 16. Despite the fact that Munkins is unable to do any of these battles because everyone starts with a freaking grass type. <laughs> All right, Ekans comes in. Uh, we will switch and go to Duracell. I want Duracell to gain levels now. Use Intimidate, or didn't use, it's Intimidate activated, but Electric is special based, so it does not matter. You poison me? I paralyze you. Okay. Mm, yes, I am good. Ooh! Our first evolution! is now a Marsh Tomp. And, hell yes, we wanted to learn Mudshot. Yes, we do. We will uh, actually get rid of Growl first. Mudslap is still a useful move if we want to play with some uh, accuracy, ac accuracy shenanigans. Now, uh, let's see if I actually had an antidote. I did. I did. There you go. JetBlue is recovered from poisoning. Um, we'll give Duracell a potion. Oh yeah, that's a, that's something that uh, happened in uh, Gen 3 is if you had a... Yes! This is the item we wanted. We wanted Thief. Because it is a dark type move, and all dark type moves are special, so it doesn't matter what type of attack it is. And uh, we can teach this to Hades. Between Howl and Leer, it really doesn't matter which one we take. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna delete Howl, and we uh, force this disc <laughs> into Hades' head, and it has learned Thief. Excellent. All right. Does effect war off? No, oh, it's in the other pocket, isn't it? I just, I'm just blind. Forgive me. You were probably yelling at your screen. Okay. Um, let's put Duracell in front. Duracell needs some action. Alright, we're back to the surf uh, well, not really surface, but we're back to the first level. We're at the half hour mark, but we're gonna keep on going because uh, that moon. I don't want to break it into multiple parts. We're making good progress in the cave anyway, I think. 
Centrin. That's cool. Centrin goes down. Drusil's level 18. Zigzagoon will stand. This uh, youngster basically has all the token uh, starter critters. We're starting area critters. Youngster Josh. Yeah, losing sucks, but you gotta learn how to lose. Fall with grace. Moonstone. If we ever bring Leonidas back, we can give Leonidas that Moonstone. It's a hiker. Hikers typically have rock types, so I think leading with Mudkins is a safe bet. And I was right, Geodude. another Pokemon you could catch in Mount Moon. I'm not gonna go for a Larvitar because between Elekid and Houndour we already have two Pokemon that are weak to ground type attacks and I don't want to amass more. You just really want to learn Bite, don't you, Mudkins? No, you will not learn Bite. So, we will pass on the Tyranitar. We already have one pseudo-legendary with Bagon, so we don't need to make our team that overpowered. Maybe later on. I don't know. At this point, I backtracked on one one claim I made already, so we'll keep our options open. But for now, I'm not I'm not going for uh, I'm not going for a Larvitar. If I find one, I'll try to catch it at least, just so I don't have to worry about it later. But we're not we're not gonna waste time trying to get it. Okay. What's up here? Re Ooh, revive's good. It's very good. And uh, Team Rocket. They kept their original lineup with the single Raticate. Now this Raticate is no joke. I do remember even in the original games, it, it would use Tail Whip and its Hyper Fang actually hit pretty hard. And it's about to demonstrate that by one hit KOing Hades. Well, want to take a bet as to uh, who I'm gonna spend that revive on. Oh, yes. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, Raticate early on is is a force to be reckoned with. Even after so many years, I still remember this Team Rocket grunt. Okay, well, this revive lasted us long. I'm not gonna have Hades miss out on all the experience he could get from this cave area. And we're not going back to the uh, entrance. We're too far deep. Isn't, isn't this nicer? No zoo bats or anything like that. <laughs> it's gonna be a zoo bat, isn't it? It's gonna be a zoo bat. No! Ooh, it's a Lunatone. That's sweet. Should we try to catch it? It's an easy dex entry. Perfect. One more. Ooh, what did we get? A moonstone. Sweet. No, confusion will not work. Yes, okay. 
let's try to catch this lunatone. That is very thematically appropriate. Good job, Dre. Oops. Does lunatone have a terrible catch rate? It might. Yeah. We'll, we'll try. We'll try maybe one more. Come on. Stay on the ball. Nope. It looks like it's only attacking with his confusion, so it's not like we're doing bad here, but. One wiggle? Two? Okay, I'm not I'm not wasting more Pokeballs on this. If we really want Lunatone, we can come back and get it later, but uh. Oh It was sitting there for like ten turns, just just biding its time. Oh man. <laughs> that was just... <laughs> uh, okay, well, we're running low on potions now. Thanks to that, this little escapade. It was sitting there for like four turns, using Harden, then trying to use Confusion, and then finally it hit a rock throw. I should have should have known that it has a rock throw. That was, that was me being dumb. Okay, well anyway, here we go. Stuff. Gulpin. Marshtown would have a super effective move against this Gulpin, but that's okay. Duracell can handle it. And get the paralysis with the Thundershock. And a full paralysis. This is, this is like Christmas here. Dunsparce. <laughs> Duns that's rare. I'm, I'm wondering if you can catch a Dunk Sparse in this cave in the in Mount Moon now. I don't remember uh, when I was trying to, when I was looking up encounter tables. But if Dunk Sparse is anything like its catch rate in, or encounter rate in any other game, it's like a one percent. So that would take like one full video to try to hunt down. If I do it, I'll do it off camera. Thunder Punch. Yeah, we want to make room for Thunder Punch. Let's get rid of Swift. Do we? Yeah, let's get rid of Swift. We don't need Swift. The only thing Swift would have been good for is if we get in a situation where uh, the opponent raises their evasion too too far high, or the accuracy of Duracell goes way too low. But I'm not I'm not concerned about it. Okay, we've reached. We're just swimming in Moonstones now, aren't we? Just fine. So, uh, we have reached the Fossil Maniac. And I think... Oops. Wrong button again, sorry. I think we'll lead with Marsh Dump here. Yeah. I will battle you for one of your fossils. And then we'll figure out how to get the other one in this game, because you should be able to get both, I think. Grimer. I think that's still still in the original game too. I think in the original there's a Grimer, there's a Magnemite. And a Voltorb, I think. Well this time there's an Electric. Which is still perfect for Marsh Dump. Using Howl, trying to set up. Uh, that won't be that won't be very handy. Electric goes down. Good news is with with how leveling is going, we might not have to do a lot of training for Misty. Coughing has levitate. So Switch to JetBlue. Let's have JetBlue do, do something. Level 16. Nice. I got a flinch. Try to leer. 
couple more damage. Eh, no, we'll just, we'll just continue the fight. Maybe we get another punch? <laughs> yes! Uh-oh. Are we about to get poisoned again? Watch, it's gonna happen. I just know it is. No, it didn't! I'm surprised. The coffin goes down. Well, you should take a fossil. No being greedy. Left should be dome. Right should be helix. Uh, as much as I want to appease our helix overlords, I've always been a Kabutops fan, so... We will go with the Dome Fossil. Okay. Then we can leave. I, th I think we're done with trainers. One more item. There's an, <laughs> an antidote. I think this. I think this is right. The exit. So I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not gonna use another repel. All right. We have made it out of Mount Moon. Not too much longer than than an episode in recent than the first few episodes. So I'm happy with it. Okay. So that is Mount Moon conquered. Let's check out the outer area for a little bit. I think. I think these guys teach Mega Punch or Mega Kick. Um, well, I'll take a look at which one, uh, which Pokemon we want to teach it. So we've got those guys. What else? I don't want to jump the fence just yet in case there's something in Mount Moon that I forgot to grab. I'll take a look at that. Outside of video, there's a girl here. Oh, it's a trainer. Let's battle her before, before we end the episode. Last Chrissy has a Paris. It's gonna be terrible, terrible matchup for Munkins. Luckily we have a Hades. Good. What else? Pidgeotto. Ooh, Pidgeotto. I... <laughs> Press the wrong button. No. Uh, okay, well, now we have to switch to Duracell. I pressed the wrong button. And now I have to pay for it with Sand Attack. Oh no. Thunder Punch, hit. Yes. Thunder Punch is awesome to have. Alright. And lastly, a Ponyta. We are switching. I'm not pressing the wrong button. We'll go back to Mudkins. Or do we want to try JetBlue? Let's try it. Let's give JetBlue a shot. I think Ponyta at this point will probably use Stomp. No, it will go for Amber. And it won't be very effective. But the Headbutt will. Tail Whip's fine. Well, she threw the match. <laughs> and Jeff was almost level 18. Good team, though. I like her team. Okay, what's up here? Oh, we can't get it. it must be one that you have to you can get after you can surf. Okay, well, um. I will talk to these karate dudes. But for now, we are going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!